Welcome back for another session. This is the Immortal, the Immortality Channel. I am the Patriarch John Paul. This is my teaching ministry. Before we get started in our today's discussion, um, let us pray for peace and for protection of our children. O oh Lord, protect our children. Keep them from safe and from harm because there's been so many shootings and killings in this country of ours. O oh Lord, bring peace to the world and rid us of this plague, this virus pandemic. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May I make the sign of the cross like this. Father, right shoulder, Son, left shoulder, Holy Spirit. And we kiss the three fingers, which represents the Holy Trinity, is like giving God a kiss. Okay. Why am I a Catholic? You see, I'm a unique theologian. I have studied both sides of the fence. I've uh, held membership in the uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Presbyterian Church, held membership in the Methodist Church. I've studied with the Baptists, the Mormons, the Jehovah Witness, uh, Assembly of God. I've studied with all of them. I know the understanding of Protestant Reformation. And I know of the Catholic Catholicism. I've been through both of them. And then I started to read the writings of the early church fathers. Why? Why would I not write, uh, read the seven letters that St. Ignatius wrote? St. Ignatius of Antioch in 11080, he studied under the Apostle Paul, I mean uh, John, under the Apostle John. John whom Jesus called Beloved. What a great honor to study under John. I would read his writing before I would ever read a writing of Billy Graham or any other uh, Protestant uh, evangelist and pastor. I would read their first because they knew the Apostle. The Apostle knew Jesus Christ. Polycarp, he studied also under John. His letters are available. They're all on the internet. You can read them. I will give you a, a, a website address below this that uh, lets you read all the ancient uh, manuscripts. The ones that the Protestants are told not to read because the truth is in them. The Didache. Well, the Didache is one name for this manuscript, but another name for it is the writings of the Twelve Apostles. You can find this on YouTube. Type in Didache, and and, and uh, after that, put in audiobook, and you could in in fifteen twenty minutes, you could read the entire book of Didache. Justin the martyr, it was another one. He was martyred and killed for his faith in Jesus Christ, but he wrote an apologetic. Apologetic is a term used by theologians. It means to defend God. And. He wrote his defense against uh, of God. First and second Clemens, one of the bishops of Rome at the time of Christ. You see, when you read these writings and you get a feel and understanding of what the church during the time of the apostles were like. Like we today in the Catholic Church celebrate the Holy Eucharist. However, the word Eucharist was used in the uh, uh, times of the early church. It had many. It, it's a it's a Greek word which means thanksgiving. So when we take part of the, bo uh, the bread and, uh, and the, the body and blood of Christ, we are giving thanks for the great salvation that we are obtaining, that we are receiving. After reading the writings of the early church fathers, Augustus, Thomas Aquinine, St. Gregory, um, then I started looking at what churches today practice the teachings that the apostles set down because that's the church that you want to be a part of 
and it tended up that the Roman Catholic Church even with some of its faults during the Dark Ages the Eastern Orthodox Church some of the Old Catholic Church even the Anglican Church of England 95% practice what we call holy tradition or holy apostolic tradition which is the teachings of the early church teachings that we practice today that's not mentioned in the Bible the Bible is the word of God the inspired word of God but it cannot be the only authoritative source God gave Jesus Christ gave the authority to a living church a church filled with the Holy Spirit that is living that answers questions and makes decisions that the Bible does not cover the Bible and apostolic tradition must go together or not at all because they cannot exist one from the other and in my next video you'll understand that when I talk about the canonization of the 27 books of the New Testament so this is why I ended up returning to the Catholic Church because they are practicing what the Apostles have established now if I want to know something about the Catholic Church I would go and talk to a Catholic Bishop or Catholic priest or Orthodox Bishop Orthodox priest if I, I would not talk to a Protestant minister what does he know about the Catholic Church he didn't go to the seminaries he hasn't been raised he doesn't know anything all he knows is what he reads in a, a little bit of book and most of the time that little bit of book is wrong if I want to learn how to fix a transmission in a car I don't go to a barber and ask him he's a specialist in knowing how to cut hair so what what does he know about uh, fixing a transmission that would be stupid of me to do that well it'd be stupid of me to go to a Protestant minister to learn about the Catholic faith so take this advice go with it I would start reading the writings of the early church fathers and see how it coincides with your church and with the other church and be open because when you seek the truth you have to not only be open to the truth you have to be open to yourself you cannot turn a blind eye because it doesn't fit your personal likes or dislikes personal ideology or agenda you have to accept what is the truth and go by that and live by that and then you are true to yourself now let me give you my episodic blessing the peace of God which passes all understanding make your heart and mind humble and pure in love with the most blessed trinity may the blessing of God be almighty be upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit God bless you and I'll see you in my next video